You know, Cozumel is a very touristy town, and it has a lot of very good places to eat. Prices are about the same as you should get in America, maybe a little less for a, a, a good restaurant, um, maybe sometimes higher. But if you go back more than just one or two blocks beyond the waterfront, you'll run into a whole series of small restaurants run by Mexicans. And here's one. It's Rafa's, uh, Rafael's really, that's his full name, and his wife Betty's. Cochina Economica, which is spotlessly clean and has some of the best food I've ever eaten in Mexico. That's Rafael there going back to get Betty. Uh, at night, uh, he cooks all the short order things that people know from Mexico, uh, the uh, tacos and tortas and all the rest of that stuff. And here's some of the sauces he's laid out for me. He's even made some special ones. And uh, uh, here he he just bringing my coke out for me and then I asked him to bring Betty out so uh, that Beatrice she, she, she's wonderful she's uh, the power behind the throne she's the one who's the real cook because when I first came here I ordered a chicken soup I wasn't feeling very well that's hot stuff by the way habanera I'll tell you I almost uh, took the top of my head off one day so I'm very cautious now I asked Raphael ahead of time what's going on but I uh, ordered a chicken soup, which was the best chicken soup I've ever had. Every Jewish mother would be green with envy. And uh, it's done, of course, Mexican style. And I thought at first that Raphael was the chef, but then I learned that the one who really cooks the great lunches, which are 50 pesos, which could, which is a main dish and it's lemonade and a soup, unbelievable, is his wife, who he calls Betty in American style and himself uh, Rafa as short for Raphael so I soon got to know that she's the real cook and you can't get better food at lunch than you can here and then at night it's just the short order stuff that he makes which is just as good and of course you can get the soup and things like that she always has that available in the kitchen um, here he made a special taco for me um, uh, it's called spetito. It's a, with a little chorizo and uh, 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 beef and pork. It is absolutely delicious. He kind of slipped this in on me as a special. He's really full of surprises, you know. This is the stuff you never want to touch. You just pass the spoon over it like I'm doing here. <laughs> and that's all you need to do. An empty spoon, by the way, you know. And it gives it a little sabor, as he says, a little taste, you know, that little special taste. And it does. I put a whole spoonful in of it one night, and I thought the top of my head was going to come off. I don't know how the Mexicans eat that stuff, but they eat it by the spoonful. It's just a scorcher. And um, here, of course, some other people have come in. I eat early. I don't really eat in the Mexican style because my time clock is set for America. And that's Greg. He's a painter in town. He's a friend of Mark Meisner, the guy who told me about this locale and the place I'm staying. And then they told me about this kitchen. That's his daughter, Janet. That's the daughter of Raphael and Beatrice. She's very nice, very charming. And uh, here he's just making up a bill for Greg, who knows all the good places in town to eat. So it's not unusual to see him you know, drop in when I'm here. And he has a little art gallery in town, Greg's Gallery. Um, and uh, it's worthwhile visiting. It's right around the corner. So so, so anyway, uh, you can see you know, Raphael is uh, very easygoing and he's funny. And, uh, and they had a little joke going on between them. This is, I've finished the soup. I've finished everything. I'm just a happy man. I got six or seven tacos to go because I have them the next day for lunch. Or, and I think that it was Sunday the next day. So uh, things are closed here, you know. And that's his little short order thing that he does there. You can't beat this place for the food and the prices and the people. They're great people. He's a great guy. They speak a little English. They're easy to get along with. They just point to the food and they know what you're talking about. And they'll just keep bringing your stuff that's new and you'll love. You'll come back here again and again and again.